Hey guys, this is Noah Osborne, 2019 PGA Amateur World Champion, and this is my In the Bag. Hey guys, this is Noah Osborne, 2019 PGA Amateur World Champion. Uh, I'm here at my home course, Harmon Hills, and I'm with the Discroft Underground team, and this is my in the bag. All right, gonna start off with my putters. Uh, putt with the, the new Lunas. I have one that's a little bit softer, one a little bit harder. Uh, it just depends on the distance I'm at. These are very comfortable with me, come uh, very dependent on them in the last couple of weeks, especially for M Worlds. I'm gonna go to my main throwing putter, the Titanium Roach. Uh, it's hyzer, straight, understable. It does whatever I want it to do. I can make this disc dance on, the, on pretty much any fairway in the woods. All right, my go-to upshot disc. I have a Pro D Zone. I also have a Paul Macbeth Ghost Stamp Z Zone. Uh, I use both of them, woods and open. This one obviously a little bit more flippy and the, uh, the Z one's very overstable. I uh, just use them for up shots, open or wooded. All right, going to mid ranges here, I carry five different mid ranges. Start with the flippy one, I throw a Z glide. Um, I love this disc mainly in the woods. I can throw a lot of hyzer on it. It'll flip up the flat and turn really hard to the right. Uh, or if I can throw standstills with it, it's a really good get out of jail disc. Next we have the Comet, uh, the straightest disc, mid-range anyways in my bag. Uh, I can just throw it up on a hyzer, stays on hyzer, throw it flat, goes straight for a very long time, or throw it on big long and hyzers. Mostly throw this in the woods. All right, then we have my favorite mid-range, the Zombie. Uh, my hands don't fit a buzz very well, so the Zombie is the best option. It's just a buzz, one speed faster. Feels like a fairway driver. Uh, I can throw this out to about 350 to 375. Throw it in the woods, in the open. It uh, does look quite a lot for me. All right, now the Z Wasp. Uh, this disc mainly just throw it for hyzers in the open. When there's a little bit of wind. I don't throw this disc too much, but uh, whenever I do need it, it's the best disc choice for me. All right, now to my overstable mid-range. The drone, Andrew Presnell drone. This is a... Uh, Absolutely amazing disc. It's very overstable, but it has a lot of glide. I can throw it out really hard and really flat. Goes about 300 feet or so, and then just turns straight up and down and dives into the ground. Uh, great disc for uh, specific distances. So uh, if you guys haven't thrown one, you need to pick one up. All right, on to my fairway drivers. I also have five fairway drivers. Start with the newest one in my bag, uh, Post Am Worlds is the Sting. Um, pick this up at the Throw More Disc Golf Shop here locally. And uh, fill this thing up with hyzer. It goes up really straight, throw it flat, and it'll turn really far to the right. Uh, very useful in the woods. Uh, looking forward to testing it out here in the future. Next we have ESP Undertaker. If you guys watched the footage from Am Worlds, I threw this disc a lot in the woods. Uh, I can throw it on Flex shots, throw it straight, throw it on hyzer. This disc does everything for me. It's my workhorse ferry driver. All right, next we have Test Flight Onyx. This one is really beat in. Flies very, very straight, but still holds up to the wind. Uh, kind of takes the place of a vulture. Goes a little bit farther than the vulture, is a little bit more stable than the vulture is. Uh, just the grip of this feels so much more comfortable. All right, and then I have my overstable onyx. I can throw this thing anywhere, anytime. Throw it out in the open, throw it in the woods. Um, very reliable, probably the most reliable disc in my bag right now, most comfortable disc. Getting ready to switch to these for my big distance. Um, yeah, they just feel amazing. Can't beat them. If you don't have one, you definitely need to start throwing them. And my go-to forehand disc, the Raptor. Uh, this disc looks brand new because I lost two of them at Heritage Hills at M Worlds. I was very disappointed in that, but that's why you've seen so many Nuco S shots up there. But uh, finally got me a new one, and uh, looking forward to testing this bad boy out. All right.
right now to the distance drivers. I also carry five distance drivers. I didn't do that on purpose. Just worked out that way. This is my Proto Kong. Uh, very flippy disc. I throw it out on a lot of highs where it stands up, turns to the right. Only throw this for big distance or uh, really long turning uh, Anheuser shots out in the open. I also have another Proto Kong. This is my sidearm disc. Whenever I need uh, a lot of distance, I need to hold a hyzer angle. Throw it really far up high. I can throw it low. Um, didn't throw it a lot of damn worlds. Mostly went with the Nuke OS, but this disc has a place in my bag, and I throw it a lot everywhere else. All right. Austin Hannum Force. This is the one I've been telling you guys about that's really flippy when I bought it brand new. Um, I can throw this thing on long Anheusers. It'll hold long Anheusers. I can throw it flat. It'll just hold flat for a long time. Throw it on big Heisers. Uh, this disc does everything for me. It's a workhorse. Once again, did throw it a lot of Am Worlds. Um, I was feeling the Kong there. But uh, out here at Harmon Hills, I'm going to be throwing this thing a lot. All right, got my Z Macbeth Force. Uh, this is only only bring it out in the wind for big Heisers. Um, 20 mile an hour winds, things like that. If those kind of conditions aren't in play, I'm not throwing this disc a whole lot out here. And for my favorite disc in my bag and in the Discraft lineup, the Nuke OS. If you guys watched Amworld's footage, I threw this on almost every single hole. Uh, forehand, backhand, doesn't matter. I throw this disc all the time, anytime, any place. This disc is the best disc in the Discraft lineup. If you don't throw it, you need to. All right, guys, that's my in the bag. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Discraft for bringing me onto their team a few weeks ago. Uh, I got to give a shout out to my wife for all of her support and uh, from my family. And I also want to give a shout out to Josh Basinger for putting this video together for me. Uh, he's been a huge, uh, big supporter. And uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Yeah, this is how it takes, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. It's first try, right? First try. All right, first try. The only thing I want to do is I think in the intro I want to add that we're at Harmon Hills. That's I didn't fine. think about it. I was like, yeah, oh. if you want to do it, that's fine. Hey guys, this is Noah Osborne, 2019 PDGA Amateur World Champion. Nope. Said am I said, did I say Amateur World Champion? Yeah. I did, didn't I? Outtakes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey guys, this is Noah Osborne, 2019 PDGA Amateur World Champion. We're here at my home course, Harmon Hills, for my in the bag. I didn't leave myself anything else to say. All right, what should I say right there? <laughs>